Jesus shed his blood for us, and we were cleansed by our sins through him. He saved our lives, and he definitely holds our future. Good day, friends. Welcome to another episode of Moments of Devotion, A Sweeter Journey with Jesus. And for today's episode, we will talk about the impression of the multitudes toward Jesus. But before we delve deeper into that, let's have a word of prayer. Let's pray. Father in heaven, we invite your holy presence to be with us today as we are going to study how wonderful and amazing Jesus is. May your Holy Spirit be in the midst of us, be in our hearts and our minds so that we could be able to grasp the things that you're about to convey to us about Jesus. Thank you very much for everything you've done for us. In the mighty loving name of Jesus we pray. Amen. Now the title of our devotional for today is The Astonishing Jesus. Well, astonishing means, you know, awe or you're in amaze amazing our key text is found in the book of matthew still in the book of matthew and still on the chapter 7 but we are down to the verses of 28 and 29 i'll be reading in the revised standard version it says here and when jesus finished these sayings the crowds were astonished at his teaching for he taught them as one who had authority and not as their scribes so they were astonished not uh, they are uh, not merely a teacher they not they didn't saw jesus a teacher but who has a power who has this kind of authority now let's start reading jesus is now ready for the next stage of his ministry he has been filled with the spirit at his baptism has set his boundaries with Satan in the wilderness for the contest to come. That was uh, the temptation that was given to him by, by uh, Satan. Has called his 12 disciples and now has finished preaching his inaugural sermon that is found in the book of Matthew chapter 5 all through chapter 7. In which he set forth in no uncertain terms the principles of his kingdom thus he is ready to move into a wider ministry but before examining his more extensive work we should note that the crowds or the multitudes were astonished at his teaching they were so amazed how how uh, jesus teach or taught them so his first part of the ministry the beginning of his ministry was was already on on the edge already it's starting to end and he's ready to be gone a wider or more or bigger ministry and why shouldn't this multitudes not be astonished by him they knew him as an unlearned carpenter from a little village called nazareth in galilee he was not a scribe or a teacher or a Pharisee, but he was just a commoner, meaning an ordinary person, a laborer. Jesus had not sought at the feet of Gamaliel or, or any other learned teacher. Rather, he was nothing but a rustic. Rustic means he was just a peasant and lowly carpenter. But suddenly he bursts upon the scene claiming the most astounding things from the beginning of his ministry and his arrival is a shock to the jewish body politic so they heard they heard something new from jesus something that they are not used to hear from from their teachers from the scribes and the, from the pharisees look at his audacity in the manner of his teaching unlike the scribes he did not recite the long lists of quotations to make a point to the contrary he claimed to be the authority with the quote i say unto you was his style rather than so and so has said so uh jesus has the author authority and the power he did not quote his teachings from any other person or from any other people or from any 
uh, other prophets or scribes or Pharisees or any other um, uh, prophets from the Old Testament, but he quoted from himself as he was the authority or from his father him, or from his father in heaven. So Jesus stood forth as the legislator, as with dignity. He, he is a great lawgiver. He demonstrates the power. He demonstrates the authority and the power of the Holy Spirit. And did you hear some of his claims? He says, I am come, not I was born. And where his hearers are left to wonder, did he come from? Where did he, this, this person come from? Obviously, from the one he so very personally calls his father. So indeed, uh, this multitudes, Jesus left this multitudes or this Jewish people are struck with wonder. They were struck with wonder, delivered. Because Jesus, what's amazing about Jesus is when he delivered his message, it's with solemnity, it's with sweetness, but it has force and energy. It has a power that will, you know, uh, go into your heart, that will make you, you know, realize about yourselves. But perhaps... The most profound statement of the Sermon on the Mount regarding his personal sense of identity appears in Matthew 7, 22, in which he says, On that day, many will say to me, Lord, Lord. He does not hesitate to declare that people will address him as Lord, as a divine person. It is little wonder that the words of Jesus astounded the Jews. Not only did he teach in an authoritative manner, but by assuming the prerogatives of God, he was claiming to be God. So, as we have said earlier, this th teachings that um, this claiming of authority of Jesus left all the Jewish people or, or all the hearers that time in awe, hearing Jesus about claiming the authority, claiming uh, that he is the Son of God, and he is really is. They were stunned, and we should be too, friends. The problem is that he is not new to us. In the Western world, he is like a piece of familiar furniture. We need to see him with, you know, fresh eyes that we might also be amazed by our wonderful Lord. So, friends, my prayer for you is that to open all of our senses, especially our eyes, to open to see the beauty, how beautiful the Lord is, to see how beautiful uh, and amazing Jesus is. Let's also open our ears to hear His comforting words that He wants us to, to hear. And of course, let us open our hearts that we may be filled with the power of the Holy Spirit, with the power and the Spirit of God, and be amazed how wonderful Jesus is. Let's pray. Father in heaven, we praise and thank you for this another day you've given to us, another study that we have that uh, teaches us how wonderful and how amazing Jesus is. Thank you for giving us Jesus who died to our, for, for our sins, who gave himself to save us from all of our sins, to save us from, from our unrighteousness that uh, gives, gave us the assurance of salvation. Thank you very much for everything, Father, and we ask all of this in the mighty, loving name of Jesus we pray. Amen. Friends, thank you very much for being with me today. And if you have missed some of our previous episodes, please log in to our website. That's www.hcbn.org or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's HCBN TV or like our Facebook page. He's coming broadcasting network for more updates and information about us. So thank you once again and I hope to see you next time here in another Moments of Devotion, A Sweeter Journey with Jesus. God bless you all.